Hello, it's Paul here, Paul Lacey. I just wanted to record a really quick casual video just to show you something that will help you with your Beaver Builder testimonials. So the thing is about the testimonials module in Beaver Builder is that it's lovely and everything, but it's a little bit simple. It doesn't do a lot. It just, as you can see down here, it's got a kind of carousel thing going on. And uh, well, that's it pretty much. That's pretty much all you can do with it. I see that a lot of people um, uh, use the uh, the add-on packs, power pack, uh, you, you, UABB, which which I also use as well. I think they're fantastic. I hear a lot of people saying that often they install them purely to use the testimonials because uh, they want simply just a bit more style on there, maybe a photo or some background color or something like that. So we were also fell into that category of people who would simply install an entire power pack or UABB add-on pack sometimes just for a testimonial. And um, one day we just thought, why not write a couple of lines of CSS and, and make this a little less bloated so that we can have a faster website, less problems to worry about in the back end. So that's what I'm basically going to just show you now. So if you take a look at this um, this testimonial block here, we're going to transform this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit into Beaver Builder and then we're going to edit this uh, testimonials module here and I'm going to put an image in each of these uh, different testimonials here. So I'm just going to pop into here and I'm going to in between the text and the the uh, sort of the name of the person and the job that of the person that said it is that called the site I don't know I'm just going to add a square image it's got to be a square image now I'm just going to choose some images that are probably a bit too big but it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to choose this image and I'm going to let's have a look let's insert that as a thumbnail and I'm going to align it left okay so let's do that there we go there's an image, a line left. That's that one done. Let's add the next one. Obviously, like you can see, it's a massive image and it's going to end up a lot smaller than that. So you'll probably not, you'll probably want to optimize your images a bit better than I have. So who should we go with next? Let's go with this guy. Okay, and then we'll make him a square. Oh, it's already done. It's already aligning to left. It's remembering. Okay, great. Okay, that's him done. And then we'll go to the third person and we will add another image and we will align it left. Let's go and grab that one. Let's get this guy. Left thumbnail. Brilliant. Okay. Right. That's done. Let's take a look at how that looks. Okay. It looks kind of ridiculous. There's like a massive image. and um, But you can probably see what I'm going to do. Uh, at least some of the things that I'm going to do. So let's go and grab the code, which I will include the code, the link to this code in the uh, description below this video on YouTube. So I'm just going to grab this code. You can see there's not many lines. And I'm going to just quickly pop this CSS into here and show you what happens. And there we go. So this thing is going to move in a minute once the page reset. There we go. Okay, so now we've got this uh, grey box around there, which obviously can be whatever colour you want it to be. We've got some round edge borders. We've got a bit of padding around here. We've got the image has gone small with a round circle around it and the site, if that's what it is, has gone there. And also we've got this little arrow pointing down towards the person who said it. Okay, so just taking you through the code here. If you don't know, understand CSS that much, then you can just grab this code and try and tweak it if you like. Obviously, if you do know CSS, then you can say, hey, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to try a testimonial in the center and see how that goes. And I can put a box around them or not. OK, so here you can see we have the testimonials. We have to identify the first paragraph, which is this one. That's what this CSS is doing here. It's putting a background color in there. It's putting a border radius of five pixels. It's putting a bottom margin in there to push this photo down and it's putting some padding around here as so and it's we need to state it's called position relative that is so we can position this box here um, underneath the underneath the thing there okay so then we're what we're doing we're adding a little element here which is this little arrow here this little corner that's going to go underneath the box and if we actually see what's really happened here, if we make it black, you can actually see that that is a black square. So I've set it to be 40 pixels by 40 pixels and I've rotated it 40 degrees. So if I put that rotation back to zero, you can see that it's a square. 
But obviously when we set the background color to be the same as the block with the text in it, it just blends in perfectly. So you've got the style stuff here. So let's say F2, 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 the height and the width, the, the rotation. We have to say display block. It's just something we have to do to make it appear. We have content in there, which is nothing. We position it absolute. And that's why we have to position this testimonials first child as relative so that we can push this testimonials little arrow thing exactly minus 20 pixels um, minus the below the actual um, quote box there. We also need to style the image. So we've put a border radius of 100% on there. We've put a height of 80 pixels by 80 pixels. And we've set the margin here just so that it perfectly sits nicely aligned with this arrow and also uh, the text that we've got there. Okay, so if you understand the CSS, fantastic. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. You can just use it. We're in mobile uh, responsive mode here. So if we just resize this down a little bit now and go and take a look, you can see that this wonderfully um, resizes itself. And there you go. So that's it, really. That's how you can, with just copying and pasting a tiny bit of code. So let's do that. Let's take it out of here. And there's all sorts of places you can put this code. I'm just going to show you putting it in the layout here. Okay. Save that. Done. Publish. And there you go. You've got some beautiful testimonials. And you don't need to go installing entire add on packs just to get your testimonials in there. Use the add on packs for edge cases or specific things that you really need. Uh, but if you want to have your testimonials like this, just go and grab my code and you can use it and you can edit it and and make it better. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. Bye bye.